Hi everyone! This demonstration is going to show you how to complete the first colored pencil activity that's on canvas for this week for Monday. So as you can see I've drawn six boxes on my paper and you need to do the same either on regular copy paper from your computer or you can use your sketchbook. I want to make sure that these are not smaller than about the size of a quarter so that I have enough space to actually complete the activity. I'm going to choose one color that's going to be my base color for all six of these boxes. And when I'm coloring in the boxes, I'm going to make sure that I'm using the circle shading that we've practiced for all of our other value activities. And I want to try to not press as hard as I can with this pencil. I found that it's a little bit easier to blend colored pencil values together when you're not pressing as hard as you can. So just a medium amount of pressure for this will be great. As I'm filling these in, I'm thinking about some other colors that I am going to use to layer on top of this blue. One of my boxes is going to stay the blue. I want to be able to compare all of my other boxes to my original base color. So this upper left hand corner box is going to stay the blue that I originally colored it. I'm gonna choose five other colors that are going to go on top of each of these other boxes. So maybe an orange, I have a blue purple here. I'm gonna try a green, maybe a yellow, and a light purple. Does not matter which colors you choose, just needs to be five different ones. So if you have a big set of colors like I do, then you're able to have a lot more choices. But if you have a 12 pack set of colored pencils, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that you're picking colors that are not the base color and you have five different ones to choose from. I'm gonna start with the light purple and I'm going to, again, not be pressing as hard as I can because I still wanna be able to see some of that blue that was my base color through the purple that I'm coloring. So I'm doing circle shading, but I'm not pressing as hard as I can. And you can see here, if this is the regular purple color, it has changed a little bit by having the blue incorporated into the purple. Next, I'm gonna try the purple that is more of like a blue purple. Again, not coloring as dark as I can, but because this is a darker value to begin with, it is gonna color over more of that base color than I really wanted. So I can always go over again with my base color on top of this to get more of the blended effect. And if I color next to this one, you can see it definitely has changed by incorporating my base color. Next, we'll try orange. Because these two colors are complementary meaning they're opposite on the color wheel. I'm going to get the illusion of some kind of brownish neutral color. It's not really gonna give me any kind of pretty color here. So again, it's changed by incorporating that blue and orange together that it would have been if we had used them separately. We'll do yellow and then we'll do green last. Now the purpose of this exercise, even though it seems very basic, you've probably done something similar to this before, is to just get you thinking again about how colored pencils could change based upon how you layer them. So if you only have a 12 set of colored pencils at home, you are not limited to only having 12 color options when you do your project. As you can see, I started with one basic blue color. I only use six pencils here and I've created all of these new colors from just layering them on top of one another. So when you're doing your project, if you come to a color that you don't necessarily have access to, but you need for your project, you can be thinking about how can I layer different colors that I do have on top of one another to get to the color that I need. So even though this may seem a little bit basic, this is where we all need to start that we have the same colored pencil skills and techniques, and we're gonna build upon these in future class periods 
So each day that we work on this, it's going to get a little bit more complicated and get you a little bit closer to the skills that you need for your color pencil project.